Dr. Selenium testing is overlooked often, I think, when, when people are at the physician's office. Why do you think that's important? Well, I think that uh, most clinicians either prescribe or do not prescribe selenium. It's that simple, mm -hmm. uh, without looking at whether they ha they're deficient or, or, or not. Um, looking at it to see if they're deficient actually is a, is a very important thing for practitioners to do for numerous reasons. Number one is you personalizing the medicine, and I think that's where the whole or medicine is going, as opposed to a, you know one one uh, one drug or one supplement for everyone. Mm -hmm. um, the other thing is because those that are deficient clearly show a lot of benefit, particularly from in my world from a prostate cancer perspective. So those that are deficient in selenium and then supplement with selenium, um, they lower their risk of prostate cancer. Talk a little bit more about the connection between the two, selenium and prostate cancer. What do we know about that? Well, what we know is a couple of things. What we know is that um, there's, there was a big study that cost about $150 million, depending on who you ask, up to $300 million, um, called the SELECT trial. And they looked at a, ver a variety of things. They looked at vitamin E. Uh, they looked at selenium in the form of selenomethionine. And then they look at the placebo and they looked at that combination together. So it was four arms, long study that showed at the end that none of these uh, selenium nor vitamin E was really helpful. But most importantly, uh, later data came out showing that selenomethionine actually increased the risk of prostate cancer in men. So then when you look at the literature, you say, why is that? And why are they studying sel selenomethionine? Good question, because when you look at the previous uh, data, it showed that only one type of selenium was used. That's high selenized yeast from Seleno XL. That was the type of selenium that was used to show that it, it significantly reduced the risk of prostate cancer. So there are many reasons why they chose selenomethionine, not high, high selenized yeast from Seleno XL, but that's what the studies show. So when one is deficient, then the right form to use is a high selenized yeast from Seleno XL.